What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Probably gonna be a longer one because we are doing everything left to wrap up all of the Caleb region before we go. Um, and we're gonna take one more attempt at this. So I actually kind of got down the, the technique a little bit better. So just roll off that ledge. Whoa, that was a little bit rough there. Uh, go ahead and just pop one of these just to mitigate out all that damage. And I'll pop this to get my health back up. Uh, right here, you can just fall. And then right here, you can actually just roll. So using the, uh, using the old, uh, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 3 approach. Now this one, I found that I consistently had to use Torrent for. There you go. But yeah, that double jump, you can make sure that you land in the corner. Okay. Um, let me try, uh, let me try to wake up with this. Whoa, bro, what? That's amazing. That's amazing. What? What? Dude, 1100 damage weapon arm? We have definitely found uh, a weapon that suits our build. up there in time. Yes. Wow. Yeah, 
Yeah, this sword is, is so sexy. Golem's Albert. I was hoping we get a spicy ass spell. 36, 14, charge forth. This thing is ginormous. Oh, you use it. You use it like it's a colossal weapon. That's kind of cool. Oh, it is a colossal weapon. Uh, yeah, so that, that sword. Oh my god, I love it so much. I mean, it's, it, it, I will say, slightly disappointing that it's holy, only because also holy, also holy, but whatever, I'm a faith guy, I can live with it. Um, this I might mess around with too, but wow, 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 that weapon art, that weapon art, oh my god. Um... Our next level, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab one point in Dex, just to try out the weapon art on the other sword. God, I can't get over that. That's so good. All right, let's do. Well, no, Tetsu's Rise. This will take a while. We're gonna save that for last. Um, let's go over there and get whatever is in that jail. And I'm gonna take this off the map because we got it. Did I mark it? No, I didn't. God. I wish there was a fast remove beacon. Cause I had, I had, no, what the hell? Where's the other one at? Are there just two on that? Whatever. I think it was over here. I love my sword. It makes weirdly big flame. That flame, it kills baddies. The damage is insane on my sword. Do do. Ba dun, ba dun. It has black flame and damage over time. It's a big animation and it looks quite divine on my sword. Do do. Do do, do do. So, another one of these, huh? This has upgrade mats, but I need to find something that breaks it. Unless there's something environmentally. Gems. Because break. There was one there was one in uh in the castle as well. Back in uh Stormvale Castle that I saw, and I'm like, how do I break this open? I don't see a way to break you open. I mean, maybe lure a dragon over to it? I mean, if there's anything that could break it, a dragon could break it. Hey. Break this open for me. What the hell, guy? Okay, I'm just gonna hide by this. There we go, thank you. See, is that so hard to do? It just took ages to get his ass over here. I wonder if I could lure the lion over in Stormvale Castle, maybe? 
I don't know. I think the lion was in a different zone. I'll have to go there and murder stuff until I find something that could, could do it. Celia Everjail. If it's Celia, it's probably not that bad. Like a mage dude. Zug Zug Club, bro. Dumbledore-looking motherfucker, get out of here. done that's done uh over here at that fort that was a key that we didn't use want to go check that out Oh, wait, what was this? By the fort. What did I what did I mark over here? Treasure chest. Was it another? Maybe it was a second one I couldn't get open. Remember pumpkin ahead and gang. I'm killing them. Oh, it was it was this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I followed that and I was like, where is this guy going? Why is he trudging through this rot swamp? And it was like all the way over here, but we didn't have a key. of those do I have? I have at least one more, right? I think I do. Uh, stone sword key. Are they key items? Wait, no, damn, do I only have the one? Shit. The other thing, it was... It was here. Wait, did I get those ones? I don't know. Let me put a marker there for now. We're going to look. I think maybe I found one and I did that, but I didn't have one for this one. And mentally I might have just confused them. The rune arc. It's always nice. I'm so glad I'm not using a, a freaking scythe anymore. Like the bleed damage is, is amazing. And I'm sure there's going to be times where I'll still pull it out. Uh, but you know, like I said, after using a scythe as much as I did on Convergence, I really didn't want to be a scythe boy this time around, and we, I mean, it, it worked for us, so we used it a lot. I mean, even then though, to be fair, I did use, uh, you know, beyond the scythe, I also messed with uh, the Cypher Pata a bit. I used the Dragon Fist for a bit, so it wasn't like I was playing with a Scythe the whole game.
I would have liked to poke. Pokes seem to hit better, but... The slams on this are doing pretty damn good. Oh, what is this place? The Moan Jail? Or what these dudes are trying to do to me with that mist. Is it like just a slow damage over time effect? Because my health isn't, my healing isn't being blocked. So it's not that. Nice horizontal sweeps on the one hand. It's honestly really important to me with a weapon is when I two-handed I want a weapon that's vertical. And when I one-handed I want horizontal. Or vice versa or something, you know. The point being that I need I need to be able to hit multiple enemies with an R1. That when I'm focusing something I don't want that attack to miss so I feel like verticals usually work better when it's uh, going after a boss let's open all the cages maybe yes it does so every cage and this bitch opened. Oh, that's the... I could have exited that door. Let's run through and, and hit the stuff over here that uh, opened up. Oh, Y'all are fun. Uh, I'm just... I'm here looking for loot. That's all. Oh, a key in case I need one. That's awesome. The Wakazashi. Is that the first katana we found? Like the entire game, dude? And the Wakazashi is a short blade. Yeah. No, wait, we found we found one unique katana earlier. Stones, golden runes. Um, let me let me pop this. I need to I need to check too. I think I have something that allows me to like tank two hits, because that Erd tree, um, the opal essence tier. That's this is right now. I'm using cracked opal tier, so that thing is is even better. Okay, so nothing there, nothing there, batty there. All the way down here, where did I turn? Where's my turn that I missed? How did I get to that area that was all uh, where I like unlocked the cages? Was this the split? No, it wasn't the split, it's a dead end. I mean, I got the stone sword key, so it's like, oh, here we go, this is it. Alright, and so we went this way. It's a full jump down. Okay. So it is very... It is very specific. on my thing. 
20. It's not bad. Looks rather unique. A big hole in the middle, someone could just poke you through. I don't know if I'd use it as a shield, but hey. Different, uh. Different kinks for different people. They're just two. Looks like the main. Like the main entrance? Is that jail cell always open, maybe? Yeah, there's the grace, okay. So those two must have just been open from the very start. And we went around and I just didn't realize it. I don't know. This cavern is very, very samey looking. Or went there. Oh no, my dear. Um, where is the boss? Dead end. Oh, that wasn't open. Hang on. Do do. There. I cleared all of that. God, this cave is also very framey. I don't know if y'all are seeing it as much as I am. Alright, I am, uh, running out of ideas. Oh, I just did that already. Alright, here is the next plan. Um, through here. Nope, dead ends. Okay, so let me see. After our drop down, our drop down has a few ways. We have a dead end cell. Cavern. We have dead end cell. We have a dead end cell. That was where I got the key. Nothing over this way. All right, so. That's clear. Now we have a pathway. All over there we can take. This is a cleared cell. Cleared cell. This has been cleared. Let's toss one here. Checks out. Let's run through here again. I'm pretty sure this is all empty. Nothing, nothing. Bingo. Hello there, frenzy duelist. Let me introduce you to the powers of Black Flame. I like that. I like that. The whole, uh, like, 
Where is this boss? Where is this boss? You're looking around and then it's, oh, look at this thing that you break and there he is, hidden away. Stuff like that's really cool to me. Oh, he popped out in Limgrave. Where? Regalia of... Yakiade? It is a straight sword. Strength the dex 2412. Treasured sword of Yakiade, a lesser long vanquished domain. Dances through the skies. Infuse the sword with energy, then fling it forwards in a corkscrew attack. The sword continuously deals damage while violently spinning. Uh, that's. I don't see it. Kind of cool. I feel like it would probably do really good damage to a boss. And it just has a longsword moveset. So for, for your longsword boys that just like, I wish I had a better longsword. Well, here's Yaki. It's Dancing Blade. It'll clap all the cheeks you could ever want. Uh, oh, and we got some extra goodies here too. Get up. Uh, where are we exactly? We are on the beach. All right. Um, that's done. Let me check over here. This episode is probably going to be another another long one. Just because I I really want to. Ooh, I almost slipped off the ledge there. I really want to get. I want. I want this zone wrapped. You know. And not not just this zone, but like there are a lot of things that I'm like I want to wrap them. Because once I go to uh, Altus Plateau, ideally I don't even want to. You know, I don't want to look back. I don't want to be like oh well, there's you know, something else I gotta get. Okay, so we did get this one. This was just a chest. It's not going to let me fast travel because of these damn birds. I'm not here for you, bird brain. Checking out a chest, making sure I didn't forget nothing. I will say, I finally feel like my character is, like, coming together. Like, level-wise, uh... A lot more confident in my health pool. Oh my way, dogs. Let me fast travel. God, we're gonna really have to run all the way back to a grace, aren't we? Like you've changed. No, just... So those guys literally just like give bits of uh, of lore. I have two markers on the map. Oh, here. Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go see. Is the town any different, or is it still just? Because it was weird how it was like completely empty when we were here before, and there were a lot of NPCs. So like, if people come back. Has the town changed at all? Alright, so the main part of the town is still very macabre and like, what is going on here? Let's see about the NPC area. Alright, that's just Bowing Lady. Um... Three generic warriors that help me fight. There's a, a whole lot of nothing here. Oh, that sucks. Uh, markers person. Where's the last one? Over there. Alright, I think... I think the only thing left here is Lenny's Rise. Uh, yeah, we can look at night. All right, so let's see. Three wise beasts. Three wise beasts. 
searching through the trees for the three wise beasts. Now the thing that's throwing me off is usually I would have had to uh, activate the book that's held by the gargoyle before I could start hunting for my beast. That book is shattered. Sorry about that, now y'all can see. Um, let me try interacting with the front of it. There's also a couple other towers that like, Erudite will guide your way. I still don't know what those are for. Oh, maybe break the crystals or something? Hmm. Oh, I just got a idea. I've been using this to go up. What if, though, we use this? Maybe there's an entry point that I didn't see on my first jump. Alright, so they're up top. Hmm. Was I able to get into this courtyard before? I don't think so. Ouch. No, I was. I'm dumb. I mean, even then, I'm not really seeing anything by using that. Alright, so elevator is there. I feel like a creeper. Oh, yeah, alright, let me just scope out the house for a way in. Alright, the hallway leads us to the elevator. Let's check out the hallway. Where does the hallway go? Home Alone, Dark Souls Edition. I'm in. Do do. Well, well, well. If it's not the orb of bullshit. So you couldn't couldn't even get in this way if you wanted. I have a feeling that was the thing that was uh, summoning enchanted boulders to attack me too. I don't know. I got a vibe from this place when we first saw it. All right. Let's see, do I get another memory stone or do I get something else?
stone. It's okay though. I'm on board with memory stones. Uh, I think that's it. I think we have completed Kaled. So with Kaled done, um, oh, wait, is that an icon? It's very unique. I still don't know what the deal is with the witch down here. Mm, I still never found Grape Lady, but you know, who knows? Uh, so yeah, these, I don't know what these are. There's, I've had, I think there's two or three of these. And this, I have no idea. We're gonna go just, just run by it real fast. Um, but they're, they're like towers. You know, erudition guide the, but like this, well, this one's a bad example because like, I can't, uh, let's see, where was the other one? There was another one. This converted fringe tower. This this one, same thing. It has the air edition guide thee, but it's like partially blocked. I don't know what that's about. Uh, so then the next would be the two dudes. Well, the thing I need to open, and then uh, Nightman over at Belfry. Is that enough that I can get a level? Gonna be close. And ooh, about two thousand short. Uh y'all are probably a thousand a pop. Let's see. Oh, exactly. Enough. There we go. Forty. Oh my god. Beautiful. So much health. So much delicious, wonderful health. No more one shots. It's deadly. It's not. Oh, I wish I knew that sooner. Let's go pay a visit to this guy. Yeah, bro, Nakron's done. I've cleared it. You are just a leftover a relic of a past time forgotten. I mean, if I was able to kill the giant dude in Kaled, there's no way this guy should give me color any trouble. Like, this dude should just get dunked. I'm gonna also open the fight up with Decay. Just because, why not?
Damn. That's it? I don't get- I don't get your cool... Some bullshit. What the fuck? Why would I- why? What? I mean, I remember I got like some stuff here, but... That dude's using like crazy skydives and dragon breath. I figured, you know, the first one that we killed had uh, the tail. I figured we get the breath thing. That's bullshit. I am not, uh, not okay about that. That's, that seems, I feel like I got a little fucking robbed there. Well, we got one more to unlock. And then the last thing that I remember, at least, is uh, the bridge. The man on the bridge. Which he is going to be hard, no matter how I slice it. But we got to do it. I can't believe that dude was only with 15,000. I mean, maybe you can parry him and it just makes it really easy, but I don't know. I was trying and just whiffing at it, smacking the shit out of me. And what is this? Crumbling Farum Azula? Where the fuck are we, dude? What? What the fuck? Yo, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this was gonna happen. Old Elden Ring. I had a feeling. I was, I was, I was like talking to some other people. I might have even mentioned it on a previous episode, but I was like, you know, I'm cruising along and I know I have like one region left. And I'm almost there, but I can't help but shake this feeling that I'm going to get to I got I'm, I'm gonna get to what what is like kind of the end of the game and then it's gonna be like actually here's a whole new region this fall looks deadly but whatever There had to be more. That's really fucking cool. Drakes flying around, tornadoes in the sky, gravity. But what was the point of me coming here and killing the beastmen? It was just too... I mean, I just I just murdered those dudes as bosses. Does this go farther? Pearl Drake Talisman. I guess that's my reward. Boosts non-physical damage. So it just blocks everything just ever so slightly. It's not bad. Uh, didn't I have some other talismans that I wanted to check out, too? 
two. Oh god damn it, I left the dexterity one on. I felt like my stamina was a little lacking there. Uh bum 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 bum. Didn't I get something? Boys guy. Hang on. I feel like I got something that I didn't look at. Oh, battle mage, you're a uh I need to have a zug zug hammer, but I kinda just dunked on this guy. I mean, battle mage doesn't make sense for me. I need, I need, uh, knights. Like how I have nine, eight, but I'm just missing six and seven. Uh, yes, these are what I wanted to look at. Boosts all damage negation and physic. Significantly negates damage. Opaline bubble tier, opaline hard tier. Temporarily boosts all damage negation. Well, the only other thing, damn. So, one, two, three. I mean, the underground areas, like, I don't know. I don't think you could consider that a zone. But so, five zones, roughly. Let's go to the bridge. I want to see what level of absorption I get out of this. And if it's something that would justify using it over the, um, the one-hit shutdown thing that I have. So, my... Uh, so, ignoring, like, slash strike on all that, we're looking at 25, 19, 28. Let me just punch these numbers down real fast. Uh, so, physical, 25, magic, 19, fire, 28, lightning, 10, holy, 19. Okay. And we are going to try this out. In our mixed physic. What other stuff do we have? Stamina, int and faith, boost magic, boost fire, boost lightning, boost holy. More likely to break enemy stances. Oh fuck, that sounds really nice. Combine that with these two, just charged attacks to break really easily. Uh, physical is still 25. Magic went up to 31 from 19. Fire up to 39 from 28. 10 up to 23. And then holy from 19 to 31. The other stuff, strike slash pierce, 21, 26, 25. Oh no, yeah, it said, it said non-physical. So, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. Um... I wish I could, like, upgrade my flash to get three effects. That's just me being greedy, though. Let's do that. And... I mean, because one hit's one hit. Let's do... Yeah, let's do those two. Why not? Because I feel like I, I take some chunky fucking damage from Elemental. And this should help out a lot. Uh, which... I don't... I still don't know what the black flame stuff is. Because here, it's holy. But when I cast it, it's... I don't know. Where's our friend at? Wasn't it right here on this bridge? Don't tell me they despawned. There they are. He said, you thought I despawned? No, 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 friend. I'm right here.
Godskin, noble, hood, robe, bracelets, trousers. Fuck! Where are my, my God Slayer spells, dude? Every person we've seen using the dark stuff, we have killed them all. And I have not gotten spells. It baffles me that literally the, the God Slayer seal and the talismans, we found that shit all the way back in fucking Stormvale. Damn. I, I'm gonna activate the lift, just cause I can. Um, but anyway. We got a new region on deck. Uh, we got three regions knocked out. I have done... Aside from, like, invisible walls, uh, I've done everything that I could find. So... You now I'm feeling good about this. Uh, you know, thinking back to like like Sekiro, I remember I, I beat it and I was like, you know, I don't know, I wish there was a little bit more, and it's because I missed a shit ton of stuff choosing Shura. Uh, but this, I I feel like I'm being real thorough, so I'm having a good time. But clearly, we got more coming your way, so stay tuned. I'll catch you in a bit. <laughs>